Well, Crosby, um, the situation is that, that um, some schools have received um, some amount of food, uh, which they are saying is little because it cannot go beyond two weeks. Others have also not received any food item at all. For, for those who have even received, I'm saying little because if you look at their um, food item list, they are supposed to get 18 different items. But you go to some schools, they have gotten only two. Others have also gotten five of them. Um, for instance, where I am at the moment, um, KSTS, they have gotten five of their items. And that excludes sugar and oil, which they say is very important to their um, food supply. And as I speak, just a few minutes ago, the headmaster has hopped into his car and he's moving to other sister schools to see if he will, he will be able to get um, bags of rice so right. that um, in an event he gets his supply, he will supply and he will give it back to them. Other schools have been to us. They got only two bags of sugar. They have even exhausted it and mm. they don't know by Monday what they will be doing. But um, the, that situation is to schools that have not gotten anything at all. And the signal that Charles says mm. is, is speaking is that students may begin to riot because already students have begun making a lot of noise because they are not being fed. And right. some are not fortunate to even come to school with any food item. So mm. it is very, very complicated um, issue. I've been engaging with the Charles president, Reverend Father Ousu Secretary. Let's listen to what he has been telling me. When it comes to food distribution to the schools, uh, I can tell you that uh, in, in some schools, students are not fed. Okay, students are not fed, and the headmasters are frustrated. Uh, so I'm going to have discussion with the ministry and the NGS, and uh, I want to tell my people uh, that um, if worse become worse, and then students are about to agitate, uh, they should quickly call in their regional directors and the and the and the district directors, municipal directors, together, and see how best to solve the situation. If it means for students to cause confusion and in the school because of food and they will destroy certain things in the school, uh, I've not heard of any yet. But if we don't take care and we don't solve the situation by sending the food items to the schools as soon as possible and students stay without food, they may agitate. And um, at times, if you wait, to that point, and you ask them to maybe go home, they may not go, and certain things may happen. We want to forestall that. So we are going to have serious discussions with the ministry and GES to ensure that uh, we avert these kind of uh, confusions in the school.